Alright. <clears throat> Anyways, um, hi, my name is Siobhan. If you're new to my channel, hi. This is not something I would normally post, but I thought today I'm getting my last medical revision. So, why not share? And if I come back crying, well, more and more interesting. It's more, more content. Guys, you may be wondering, what are you talking about? Are you sick? I'm not sick. Um, but I have something called scoliosis. I know, bummer. If you don't know what scoliosis is, it's basically when your spine isn't straight. To say it very widely, it has curves that could not benefit your health in the long run. This is gonna be like a chit chat, so if you're interested, I remember when I first got the news, which was like Four years ago, when I got the news, I felt very like alone in the process just because you don't, it's not something that's very heard of. But I thought if there's someone out there who can benefit from this video, that's the least I could do. I found out I had scoliosis when I was finishing sixth, which would be when I was like 12. That's when I found out I had scoliosis, and I really didn't think much of it, that it was like normal. They didn't exactly tell me like how bad it was, it just said, oh yeah, you have scoliosis. So like five months later, they called me from the hospital and they were like, you have to make your, you have to take your x-rays. And like a few days later, they were like, it's quite bad. So I went there and they showed me like the x-rays and I had a curvature of, I'm pretty sure 18. So I went there and they were like, yeah, you're probably gonna have to get a back brace. Which, if you don't know what a back brace is, let me show you. That's a back brace. It's a pain in the ass, really. They said like, yeah, you're probably gonna have to get a back brace. I didn't really think much of it because I was kind of just in shock. But I remember like them tell me, oh yeah, you're probably not gonna be able to do like some sports. You're gonna have to go swimming and and this is gonna suck. And I was like, Haha, cool. Cool, 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 cool. And I obviously cried. Again, like I didn't really know what it was. I was like, okay, your back brace. I had never seen one in my life. I thought it was just gonna be like a corset, you know? Like a very like, like it ties around your waist. Like it ties around your waist and that's it. Like there's not much complication. But no, I wish it was like that, honestly. After that, I went to orthopedia. I don't know how you call that in English. And I went there and they had to take my measurements. If you're curious as to how they do it, there's different ways. There's a way that's more basically digitalize your body. So from there they can take the measurements and make it. And the more efficient way, and it has like the best results, is basically just putting um, the same material you use when you break an arm. I don't remember how that was called. What's the material they use to repair a broken arm? A cast, that's it. So they put like a cast from your body, like from like your lower hips to up to here. If I have some pictures, I don't know if I'll post them because it's very embarrassing. But you're basically in that for like 30 minutes until like it gets solid. Then they open it up and from there they take the measurements. The first time I had to do that, like a month before I had to go to high school. Keep in mind, um, I live in Spain, high school starts when you're 12, okay? Like high school is a change and obviously you're nervous and if you had to add being uncomfortable and like very awkward, it doesn't really help. I did not know that till then. Like I was just like, okay, I'm gonna have to wear this. I didn't think it was gonna be a monstrosity that it ended up being. Okay, um, it's made of chino. I don't know if that's how it's called in English, but that's how it's called in Spanish. And it's a very, very hard, but still kind of like flexible. Plastic. This is the one I have now. It's way more pronounced than the one I had to wear every single day for the first time because this one I have to wear to sleep. I don't wear it, but I should probably. The thing about the corset is it's very independent to each person. So I say corset because I'm used to it, but like that brace, if you understand that better, because it's like exactly your spine. So in this case, um, for me, it went from like my lower hips to in my case up to here and my back up to like here something like that as you can see it took a lot of space and it was not discreet at all that sucked a lot well the doctor's probably gonna tell you that you have to wear it um 20 hours a day or like no actually no 22 hours a day which is impossible okay literally impossible you can only take it off when you're obviously like, getting dressed um taking a shower and doing sports and that's it but realistically Look, I, if you're gonna get a back brace, 
and you're nervous, I don't want to be like scaring you off because like you get over it, you do and it's like it's two years, it's not the best time of your life, true, but you know it's fine, like you'll you'll make it. It's reasonably doable, but it's not a good time and especially, I don't want to make this seem like pretty bad because I don't like discourage people and make them afraid, but it does kind of like ruin your your sense of space and how much you take up because as I said it before this is a very rigid and obnoxious thing to wear and if you're curious as to why how you wear it in my case what they recommended was a cotton t-shirt that the sleeves should at least reach to here so that if it's like at the same length as mine, so like it reaches like above your boobs, it doesn't give you like any marks, it doesn't like hurt that much. It's gonna hurt, I'm just gonna be honest, it's gonna hurt. So if, if you have to wear, you know, a t-shirt underneath, plus back brace, plus whatever you're wearing on top. If it's summer, it's it's quite bad. Um, I remember like I, I could only wear baggy t-shirts and like high-rise um, shorts. Or like pants in general and that's about it oh and also if you're curious you're gonna have to wear it to sleep but don't be scared like I promise sleep is it doesn't it's not that bad if you find like a good sleeping position if you sleep like on your back it's like the best thing you could do you know you'll get used to like being rigid when you sleep um but if you don't sleep on your back sleeping in your sides to find a side that is less pressure so that you're extra body weight doesn't put you more pressure and hurts more but i promise like the sleeping part it's it's free like again like doable it's it's not a big of a deal it hurts at first for sure and i'm really sorry you're gonna have to go through that but it hurts at first but once like you get to it like sleeping is the least of your problems and not because like the least that it's like a bad but it's the least it genuinely you know you just go to sleep and you don't really think about it but it is true that during the day i struggled a lot and it's not something i'm comfortable sharing with at all i've shared it with some people but it's just when i started to feel like very self-conscious was when i started wearing the back brace because you know people notice it um at least my in my case um, i've always been like on the bigger side and if you add on top of that something that makes you awkward because it's, it will make you kind of awkward especially at first because you don't know how to like move in it you don't know how to sit which sitting is another thing i'll get to that in a second you're very self-conscious of like how you're moving because obviously people are aware and you're aware that they're aware so it's but it gets better i promise and what i want to mention about school is so i live in a very hot area um in spain especially in summer so in summer it's um it's basically torture. Okay, I'm sorry, but it is. Um, I, I swear, I just I want to make this as, like, not inspirational, but you don't feel absolutely terrified about going into it. But um, summer is quite bad, especially if you live in a very hot place. Because as I said before, you're gonna have to wear at least you're gonna have to wear at least the undershirt and then the back brace and a t-shirt on top. There's no reason why you shouldn't wear a tank top, or you sh there's no reason why you should wear t-shirt above it actually i remember like this one time i saw this girl the first time i've ever seen someone with a back brace on and she was wearing a dress like a bodycon kind of dress and she was wearing the back brace on top and i was like what honestly like if you want to do that honestly like rock it but if you're self-conscious and kind of not that confident you're probably gonna go for a t-shirt and it gets pretty hot so it's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass and apart from that like in school you're sitting 95 percent of the time but when you're sitting, I don't know if it's worse if you're skinnier or you like have more weight, I have no idea. In my case, I was more like on the bigger side. So I remember this part of the bra brace, like this part you have to feel like digging into my thighs. And that hurt a lot, a lot. And apart from that, where like the most pressure was on, I still have it as kind of like a scar. That got pretty bad sometimes, but it's, but now it's like healed, it's completely fine. Something that really affected me as a consequence to having to wear the back brace was um, my mental health. Like, I discovered what mental health was when that happened. Because I think, as I mentioned before, unless you have an extremely good support system or like your self esteem is super good, if that's not your case, you will probably not feel the most confident. And in my case, especially, I was 
starting to be a teenager at the time. So obviously, you know, that was probably the most crucial parts in like building up that confidence and having to wear that back brace really <laughs> made things go very slowly, if not backwards. You know, as I mentioned before, you become so self-conscious of your body. In a way that you're kind of more noticeable in that aspect, but not in a good way. For me, my confidence, self-esteem, body issues started to... Like, I started to realize what that was. I wasn't like a very sad kid. I was, you know, I was doing my thing and I was never really self-conscious of that until I had to wear the back brace. To this day, I don't know what it was, but I struggled a lot with mental health. At that time, I remember being very angry. I remember like looking this a lot on the internet and feeling very alone and misunderstood and just... I felt like I was the only person dealing with this. And that, if you're a kid, doesn't really sit well. I started to develop like very bad anger issues. Especially because I did not want to wear the back brace, okay? If you have to wear the back brace, you're not gonna want to. And, you know, you it would be kind of suspicious if you did. And, but I obviously knew I had to wear it, but I just needed someone to lash out on. You kind of like transfer that into basically every aspect of your life. You know, even like my one of my best friends, like to this day, like she's always like, yeah, no, like you were very... I was angry, I was sad, I was just... I just don't wish it upon anyone, to be honest. Really the reason why I wanted this video is because if you are going through something similar, maybe it's not the bad brace. I needed it to make a video, even if it's just no one's gonna see it. That's fine with me. But if one person sees it and like they kind of feel like more understood or it just helps in any way, I really would like that and I think I would have appreciated that. Actually one person, her name's Rachel Cantu or something like that. And I remember like looking at back brace, stuff like that, and she came up and she was like, she was very real with it. So she was like, this thing fucking sucks. And at the, you know, at that point, you're not really looking for anyone to pity you, although maybe that would be nice. Just looking for someone to understand you and like, even if it's not gonna help in cheering you up, just making you feel seen. You know, you're not the only one who's going through that, and I'm not saying it's good, I'm not saying something that's gonna be nice or it's gonna be pleasant but knowing that you're not the only person who's gonna go through that is kind of reassuring in theory if you had good parents they're gonna have to make you wear the bad brace whether you like it or not and it's not their way of torturing you even though you probably know it, it kind of feels like it because you do not want to wear the bad brace really you don't but just so you know it's better in the long run and it is better for your health when you're 12, you don't really want to accept that, and you're like, no thank you, I'm fine. Like, I remember even I was saying this, like, you're probably getting the back brace, you already know this, but it's either wearing the back brace or doing nothing and potentially having to go to surgery. I remember saying this so much, it was like, I don't give a fuck, like, I prefer to go to surgery and not have to, like, suffer, like, through two years, and, like, it may kind of make sense, but um, I've never had to do had any surgery in my life, but... If you can avoid surgery, do it at all costs. Coming from someone who's been through it and who's been through it kind of harshly and who would <laughs> kind of die if they have to do it again, um, I promise it's not worth getting surgery done because, you know, surgery is a very unnatural procedure and it's something that is gonna affect negatively in the future because it's not something that your body is supposed to go through. If it helps and if it will change your mind, don't go through surgery. I, I promise. I promise. It's not gonna. It's not gonna make it better. And at the end of the day, like it finishes. If you're programmed to have it three years, it may look like a lot. And I'm not gonna say it isn't three years. It's it's a lot of days. But you get over it. It goes away. I just I promise. I really do that. You'll kind of laugh at it afterwards. Cry at it maybe sometimes. But just always keep in mind that it's no one is doing it this because they hate you or everybody who's like trying to make you wear the bat brace isn't against you and they aren't trying to make you suffer every single day. Also, if you're kind of like mad at some of your friends for not being the most understanding, like I felt like that a lot because I wasn't gonna be with my friend, like I'm really like complaining sometimes to like some of my friends, they'd be like, like what really what can you say when you don't know anything about it? But I remember being very like mad at them for not understanding it. So you can talk to someone if you know you have like a very good friend that you can just confide in and 
they, they won't understand. If you haven't worn a bra brace, they won't understand what you're going through. Realistically, they won't. Ranting helps. Don't let yourself become so mean and lash out on people who had nothing to do with it. I have to have to be in the hospital like in 15 minutes for the last x-ray I have to do. Um, hopefully it's good news. So I'll finish this section here. So stick around if you want to see if I want to find out if I get that off my back. Literally. So I'm finally free. Yeah, two, three years of torture paid off, I guess. So I'm gonna literally basically give you kind of what went down. Um, I did my x-rays. Basically was, was that I've stopped growing. So I've been like the same height for a while, like four years, honestly. Basically she, she told me to continue doing sport um, that keeps engaged your core and your back, especially for that you don't get any uh, tension or knots when you're older, which is gonna happen eventually, but like try and prevent as many as you can. Overall, yeah, I was very happy. I was expecting it, I'm not gonna lie, because it's been a while. And if it didn't actually say I was done, I would probably would have cried, like a lot. Thankfully, I'm done. And I'm very excited. I don't have any back brace in my room laying around. I finally got rid of it. And if you're asking, no, you can recycle that. I looked it up, you can't. Which is a pity, really, because it's a lot of plastic. And I've gone through four back braces. Well anyways, um, I'm gonna end this video here. If it was useful for anyone, that would be amazing. Obviously, like, I'm guessing you're watching this because you are interested in it. If you've just been told they have to wear a back brace or anything like that, I promise there is light at the end of the tunnel and it's not the best. And even if you want to talk about it or you want to like rant, my DMs are always open. Um, so yeah, I really, I really, really hope someone feels more seen and understood with this video. So yeah, I don't really have anything more to say. Um, till next week.